In recent years, Cornwall has been christened the poorest county in England. But in 1847, the name Cornwall was applied to this locomotive. Richard Trevithick's son, Francis, became locomotive superintendent for the Grand Junction Railway in 1841, and when the GJR became part of the London and Northwestern in 1846, he was already well acquainted with crew works. It's hard to imagine, but the single driver you see here was initially built as a 422 with the boiler much lower in the frames. This was the LNWR's attempt at a Crampton, which featured the boiler slung low in the frames and the driving axle behind the firebox, the idea being to reduce the centre of gravity and increase the maximum speed. As a Crampton, Cornwall didn't last very long, as she was rebuilt as a conventional 222 in 1858. In doing so, she lost her low centre of gravity, but she didn't lose her pace. In 1884, Charles Ruse Martin claimed the engine had reached 70 miles an hour between Crewe and Chester, so at 37 years of age, she still had plenty of energy. When withdrawn from passenger service in 1905, Cornwall had clocked up more than 928,000 miles, and apart from limited runs during cavalcades, pilot duties and director's saloon workings, she was retained at crew until going on public display in 1963. Interestingly, Francis Trevethick passed away in Cornwall, being buried in Penzance in 1877. As for the engine, any hopes of her running again may have been dashed in 1979, when, during an examination for the Rocket 150 cavalcade, the boiler inspector was said to have put his hammer straight through the barrel. So, will she run again? It's unlikely. Or, as they say in Cornwall, They'll do it directly! 